This video is for entertainment purposes only. It is not a call to action. Do not engage with or harass anyone who is featured in this video. Stop being mean to me. Stop being mean to me. This is you and this is me. And if you keep being mean to me, stop being mean to me. I know that I look like a fighter, but let me tell you right now, I'll be the first to admit that I am not a fighter. I have always avoided throwing punches because I know that if I do get in a fight, um, I will probably kill the other person. What I actually am is a man of science. And as you probably already know from my last video, I built an x-ray machine in my garage. This is my magnum opus using parts that I bought on eBay. The most dangerous contraption I have ever built. And oh boy, people are mad at me. Like this guy right here. I realized five minutes into this that I just wanted to see him perish due to electricity. <laughs> but if it's uploaded, then he definitely didn't die. I now no longer wish to continue watching. Why would you come into a video wishing to see somebody die? That's disgusting. I can see morbid curiosity, but actively hoping that somebody is going to die in front of your eyes. I love making YouTube videos. This is like the greatest job ever because of you guys. I get to make interesting stuff and show it to you and you enjoy it and like that's what I like doing. I also hate it because of you guys. He has degrees and he's using a flathead shovel to dig. Bro, next time you want to dig a hole, don't use a flat spade shovel. You ain't digging a grave with that shovel. This man can build an x-ray machine, but try digging a hole with a shovel. You need a spade. Wrong type of shovel use to dig a pointy hole. spade shovel to dig dirt. He city has an boy. engineering degree, but uses the wrong shovel this to dude dig really a hole. This dude really to dig a hole with a square shovel. Who has shovel? two degrees and digs with a two flat shovel? Two engineering degrees and you use a square head shovel Why to dig a hole? Why is an engineer digging a hole with a shovel? You can tell a man a shovel. You're just a brilliant individual, but you do not shovel. You're digging with a flat blade shovel. I have an engineering degree. Electrical mechanics with shovel. Over shovel. the line, buddy. Should I keep going? No! <laughs> he has yeah, engineering degrees. He uses a flat the shovel, shovel instead of digging holes. Dig I would recommend a round of flat shovel. shovel. William, you don't dig a hole with a transfer shovel. One might think shovel. an engineer would have the correct shovel and other tools for digging degree. degree. He has an engineering degree. He chooses a flat William shovel. William has the wrong kind of shovel, William. But doesn't know the difference between a shovel and a spade. When Tim's a great flat shovel, dig a hole with a shovel. You're using the wrong shovel. It's the only shovel I have! And the joke was I was digging a hole. I wasn't actually trying to dig a hole. I just don't dig a lot of holes, and so I don't have the right shovel. Do you know what? Will this make you happy? Would it, would it make you happy if I went to the store? I got a question. All right. Um, I need a shovel for digging holes. I, I got bullied on the internet for using the wrong shovel. What shovel should I use for, for digging holes? Uh, either this one or that one. Something with a pointy end? Yes, don't pay $30 if you're not gonna use it over and over again. Perfect. Only $13 for a shovel I'll never use. They think this stuff is scary? <laughs> they think this is scary? They should see the comment section of my YouTube channel. I you guys are bu Oh. Uh, could I get uh, an ice cream cone? You guys are bullies, I hope you know that. Well, some of you. And I think I know why. It's because everybody wants to participate in a conversation. The issue is a handful of you don't understand. Or wants to thank you. I think some people just want to be perceived as smart. They want to be perceived as smarter than everybody else. You don't have to be smart to participate in a conversation and you don't have to like rag on somebody else. It's really easy to provide constructive feedback and not be a total dick about it. Like the guy at Home Depot when I asked him what kind of shovel I should use. So I'm getting a car wash right now. And uh, he, he told me, he helped me figure it out instead of being demeaning about it. Like, if you're gonna tell me that I'm using the wrong shovel, why do you gotta include the fact that, oh, I've got two engineering degrees? You sound like my father asking me, oh, why can't you fix this part on a car? You're a mechanical engineer. A mechanical engineer designs cars. An automotive mechanic <laughs> repairs cars. It's not the same thing. It looks like I've been pulled over. <laughs> If you don't have anything nice to say, say nothing at all. You understand? We've barely scratched the surface of our feces-flavored scratch-and-sniff sticker.
Really stupid comments. I need you make an indicator of how radiation you get for every second you turn that machine. I mean, if in one hour you get the maximum of sun a year, you could be death faster if in the month you turn on more than five hours. You didn't have to put your hand in it. You could have used a rodent. I guess, I guess I could have used the rodent. Making an x-ray machine doesn't even occur to just buy ice cream and cones and save $5 and a trip to whatever fast food quality soft serves. I can't, I can't escape. People are judging me for buying an ice cream cone. <laughs> Bro, where do you get your shirts? That's all I got from this video. Wow, Jared. I literally promoted it in the video, but since you asked, I'll promote it again. Catwarehouse.com, the finest cat shirts that money can buy. Catwarehouse.com. Every garment is made by an enslaved cat. I was watching this until I saw his rainbow flip-flops and then it was time to go. <laughs> Do you think I'm gay? Really stupid political comments. This seems like an easy video for people to latch on and promote their progressive politics. They see, I was charged 70k at the hospital, so I built my own x-ray. And some erroneously believe the only service they were provided at the hospital was a ridiculously priced x-ray. Highly doubtful. I don't understand how people even begin to justify the fact that a, the number $70,000 appeared. That number should never be there. Like, I went to the hospital because I had appendicitis. They gave me painkillers, a CT scan, antibiotics, and two nights in a hospital bed where they were monitoring my blood. I did not need surgery because we caught it early enough and the antibiotics was able to smack it down. How does that cost $70,000? Also, what do you mean progressive politics? Are you, conservative politics is big prices? You're an idiot. It should cost what it costs. Armchair engineers. The vast majority of comments are from armchair engineers, one of the worst variety of commenters on the internet. Safety measures are below zero. I bet it's even illegal. Of course an airplane exposes you to a higher dose, but that doesn't mean that people should play with these things at home. If it's less dangerous than getting on an airplane, what's the justification for not playing with this? The x-rays aren't the dangerous part, it's having no respect for high voltage. All these comments, they're already contradicting each other. You can't all be right. Like, what's dangerous? The x-rays are the high voltage, even the comments themselves can't agree. I know the right thing to do is to just not read the comments, but it's frustrating because I like interacting with you guys. This is why I started doing YouTube. Everything is dangerous. Smoking cigarettes is dangerous. Driving cars is dangerous. Being fat is dangerous. Let that electricity arc through your chest and you'll be extremely lucky to have it started again quick enough to not have brain damage, but it's more likely you'll just die. Are you speaking from personal experience? Because it sounds like you do have brain damage. And now that you've been informed officially, oh, thank God. The God of knowledge has bestowed upon us the sacred electrical texts. Michael, you're stupid. I deal with x-ray sale and service systems a lot in Australia. You are playing with fire. No, Richard, I'm playing with x-rays. Why am I even wasting my time with these comments? Like, ugh. CT scans are with magnets. No, MRIs, magnetic resonance imaging is with magnets. We're starting to scratch the sticker a little harder and it's starting to smell more and more like poop. I would never marry a woman that couldn't cook. Yes, I can cook and I'm quite good. <laughs> okay, thank you for sharing. Conspiracy theorists. I believe the images are fake. Everything else is real, but he probably couldn't get the machine to work, so he put photoshopped images in there. The x-ray attenuation on the phosphor plate doesn't resemble any normal x-ray, nor does it mirror any physics of x-rays. Why would I fake it? If I could make x-rays, capturing the image is the easy part. Here's another one. X-rays don't make visible light. This is a hoax coming from an industrial x-ray technician. So I replied, is this a joke? I captured this x-ray on a DSLR camera. My guy, you are the joke. <laughs> <laughs> what? What did I do to deserve this abuse? Your remarkably ballsy and nicely done bit, that's the part that gives it away. You need film or a digital plate. You lose. Do you know what a digital plate is? It's an intensifying screen with a digital sensor under it. And even if you use film, you can still use intensifier screens. That's the whole point is you can reduce the dosage. And he replied that that's not what intensifier screens do, period. 
I would love to talk to one of these trolls in real life. You know, like what do they look like? Are they green? Do they smell bad? Do they live under a, a bridge? Do they have a long nose? Do they have pointy ears? Wait, that was a goblin. I think I was just describing a goblin. <laughs> this guy's kind of a jerk and he's wrong. He's just flat out wrong. He has no idea what he's talking about, but he's saying it so confidently. He even replied to other people. Safety nerd here, the high voltage supply is way more dangerous than the x-rays. And your qualification to make that assertion is? So I think we should figure out if Evan has the necessary qualifications to make his assertions, because I have a feeling <laughs> that he doesn't. LinkedIn results. I am a welder with some non-destructive testing experience and certifications. He doesn't say anything about having radiation certification. I created a profile for a woman named Catherine and uploaded an AI generated headshot from thispersondoesnotexist.com and sent Evan a job offer for a TV pilot production. He accepted the request almost immediately and we set up a phone call. Hi, Evan. Hi. Hi, uh, my name's Jeff. I'm, I'm working with Catherine on this pilot production. Hi there, how you doing, Jeff? Do you want to tell me a little bit about what you do? Yeah, um, I am, I am a, a welding inspector, non-destructive testing technician, certified welder. Um, I mostly have been working in power plants, doing uh, 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 like x-ray. Um, oh, x-rays. Yeah. Is that something that you're you're certified and trained to do? I am an assistant. I, I don't do it personally. It's kind of beyond the scope of what I do. Basically what it is is, is there's this tube that, you know, is shielded from x-ray. And inside of that tube, there's a little radioactive pellet. Uh, you, you crank out that pill is what we call it. It's a little radioactive pellet. Do you have time to set up a video call maybe tomorrow? Sure. This is what I don't understand. Like, he sounds like a totally normal dude. So why is he being a total jackwad on the internet? Like, this is embarrassing. This is like a normal guy with a real job who goes home at night and leaves, like, troll comments online. It would almost be better if he was actually a jerk on the phone. The instant they get on a keyboard, they become a warrior. You lose. Damn it. I have good news and I have bad news. The bad news is that Evan figured out that it's me. The good news is he figured out it was me after signing all the agreements, so we have permission to use whatever we want. I really want to talk to Evan, but now that he knows it's me, he doesn't want to talk to me. He said he won't do a video call. Hi, you've reached Evan. I'm not available right now. Please leave me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks. Hey Evan, uh, this is William. I want to make you a deal. If you agree to a video call where we can talk for like, five minutes. I'll pay you 200 bucks and remove you, your likeness completely from the video. Give me a call back. Excited to hear from you. We'll talk later. See you, Evan. This makes me feel kind of like a jerk, but then I go and read the comment that Evan left and <laughs> I feel like it's totally validated. He calls me a fake and a loser. He says it's a hoax. You know what, Evan? I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad. We're calling someone out for their crappy behavior. Why should I feel bad? I'm making you a deal, Evan. I'm making you a really good deal. As smart as you think you are, you're definitely not smart enough to research a contract before you sign it and send it back. Don't be a jerk. Don't teach people things you don't actually know anything about and read contracts before you sign them. All right, he's calling. Hello? Email that to me in writing before we have any further conversation. You have yourself a deal. Talk to you soon. Yes! Yes! Yes, yes, yes! Yes, come here, come here, come here, we're gonna celebrate right now. Come here, you little shit. We did it, 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 we did it. 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 Uh, let's we'll send him an email. I have bad news. Evan has not replied. I even sent him $5 on Venmo, but he keeps ignoring me. But do you know who won't ignore you when you send them money? The sponsor of today's video. In the last video, Caretaker told us about how she used to make bean tacos before she learned how to cook. This video, we're going taco y taco, mano y mano, sponsored by HelloFresh. Are you ready, Caretaker? You look like a professional right now. How do you feel? My name, Chef. Her name, Chef. You're cooking bean tacos, and I'm cooking HelloFresh tacos. This is 
chicken fajita tacos. HelloFresh is a meal delivery service where all the ingredients come pre-measured straight to your front door so you don't have to do as much grocery shopping and you don't have to try to get creative and follow recipes. I work full time and I don't have to meal plan. It's not wasteful. I'm not buying a giant bag of cheese. It's like a perfectly portioned amount of cheese and I'm not buying a whole thing of sour cream. It's a perfectly portioned amount of sour cream. I'm using a can opener to open the bean. First step for me was to turn the oven on and now I'm gonna chop up some veggies. Estimates about 35 minutes. I'll probably take a little bit longer than that because I, uh, I don't wanna cut any fingers off. I'm gonna check in on my beans. I'm gonna turn them down. At this point, we're just gonna do a nice simmer. I usually use regular olive oil because I'm a professional chef. He's, he's an amateur. Each week, you can pick what you want. You can customize it. For example, I don't eat pork or beef, so I can choose chicken items or vegetarian items. And every time you open that, you're letting heat out, and it's gonna take longer. I am heat. Chicken fajita tacos versus bean taco. Good. Going in for the bean taco? I think I prefer the Chicken fajitas. It's not bad, it's just a lot of beans. Go to HelloFresh.com and use my code WILLIAMOSMAN14 to get 14 free meals. Because you get to choose what you want, you never get, I've never had anything I didn't like. My name's Jeff.